Deputy developments tonight on a mysterious call to 911 in Detroit. It touched off a day-long search for a man claiming to be a kidnapped Russian military officer. But police called off that search just moments ago. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhead is downtown at Public Safety Headquarters to tell us why. Tonight we're learning that that call to police may not have come from a satellite phone. And the man who called may not have been who he said he was. We have a mail uh, calling from a satellite phone. Say that he was kidnapped and stabbed in the leg, left in an unknown abandoned building. Uh, stated that it's supposed to be some type of baking manufacturing building with a uh, broken window. Says uh, he sees water in the back of the building. Says he was attacked by two males. EMS has been ordered. Shortly after a call this morning to police for help, Detroit police, state police, the FBI, and other federal agencies were hitting the streets, scouring Detroit's riverfront area for a self described Russian military officer claiming he'd been kidnapped and stabbed. It all sounded legit. Based on the way the individual sounded, which was under some type of duress, uh, and a lot of the information that uh, he pointed out as these landmarks that we can be familiar with here in Detroit, as he mentioned, seeing the you know, sand and uh, mentioned uh, the waterways along Jefferson, uh, uh, mentioned the, actually the street of Jefferson. Uh, of course, he called it Jeff. Translators helped to make sense of a call to police that was half Russian, half broken English. But after roughly a 10 hour search of 15 blocks and no discovery, tonight 60 or so police officers received orders to stop looking and come back. Cops still have no evidence. The name the man gave is of a real Russian man who traveled legally to Detroit. At this time, there's no information that, uh, that leads us to believe that uh, this person did travel from Russia. For now, police also aren't revealing the alleged name of the man. If indeed this was a hoax, they plan to track down the person responsible and bring them to justice. The commander adds this is one of the most bizarre situations he's ever seen. Tomorrow, police hope to learn more after they speak with the Russian consulate. From downtown Detroit, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.